name is John Wanoa, and I'm a surrogate King William III, King George III, uh, King George IV, and King William IV. Uh, we go on to the schooner, the flagship coming into New Zealand from Australia, and that's when our flag uh, was uh, formed with the British people uh, that landed in Kororareka uh, afterwards, the Kororareka flag now, and set up this flag as the founding of New Zealand in 1834 and then in, the, in 1835 on the next um, flag ship mast and the cross rung you see the both flags, the British flag and the Un United Tribes flag sitting opposite each other as a private commercial trading bank contract between Britain and New Zealand and uh, the Union Jack up the top of the flag as the flag of New Zealand. So then we go on to the Queen. Um, Queen uh, Victoria has been the niece of uh, King, uh, uh, King uh, William the Fourth, and um, she uh, took over from, from uh, William and uh, formed the Crown Corporations with Queen Elizabeth II under the Union Jack flag of New Zealand. So now we go on to the King George IV, uh, the son of King George III, with the eight-point star, as you can see, St. Patrick, uh, uh, eight-point star on our flag that uh, marks uh, the municipalities of the flag contract uh, with our, our King and the Paramount Chiefs in New Zealand at that time. Uh, King George IV, 1823, made a contract with Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau uh, and bought New Zealand from this chief. And so we go on to now to King William IV, uh, eight point star as well. And he solidified that contract in 1823 with the 1835 Municipalities Act of the eight point star of St. Patrick's Church for lease lands. Uh, and um, the contract uh, for, um, for uh, buying and selling property in New Zealand. So now we go on to King William III of Orange. Uh, with he uh, created the Bank of England Act, 1694, the Pound Note Act that we have with King Tafio. 1888, we have the use of that uh, Pound Note and the Bank of England Act. Uh, he was created that with the, for the municipalities of picking up the lease rates of the lands. So that's, we go on to the red and white flag of Tainui in Waikato, uh, that um, has British uh, of King William the, the Fourth as well. It's the eight point star of St. Patrick again, but it's not a contract flag with Westminster Parliament. It is a protectorate only in the sailing ships through the, through the seas around the world. Uh, and uh, has the same rights as the other flag, except it doesn't have a contract with the Paramount Chiefs. It is only for the tribes at the, the lower end of New Zealand, and the other upper northern tribes uh, have the black strip in their flag. I'll tell you about that afterwards. Now we go on to uh, uh, Wirimu Tahu Portiki Ratana. Uh, he uh, is responsible for uh, bringing the uh, uh, church into Maori and the creation of Maori with the government of New Zealand, Crown Corporation. And in 1862, uh, the Act of uh, uh, the Native Land Court was created from uh, a paramount chief, Rewherewha Manukau, in the Pukekohe area of Oatawa. And that, that formed the basis of the Native uh, Land Act uh, that uh, the government of New Zealand always goes down to Ratana Church in Wanganui to uh, get permission to use the Native Land Act. And that's what I say come out of the Manukau title of Te uh, Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau and his uh, descendant Ref uh, Ref Manukau. Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau being the seller of the land of New Zealand country, soil, land to uh, King George IV in 1823. So now we go on to the Paramount Chiefs, that we had a native court hearing uh, in uh, 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 Epsom, 
uh, in uh, Tilnga Waka Marae, and that was one of 11 Native Magistrate Court hearings we set up for this flag as our jurisdiction, our 1835 constitution and uh, legal authority to use this flag for our commercial trading bank uh, use and uh, to trade with the countries, other countries of the world as we wish that we are doing so far now. I went to England and uh, raised this flag over there in the Supreme Court and uh, opened up a native magistrate court there as well with the natives of England. And in the St. James Park, I raised it down in, in the uh, paddock with the police in attendance as well uh, to stamp our, uh, our contract. Go back to the kings that made the titles in the first place, right? Waitangi Marae, King's Bench, Native Court.